This is Volvo's all-new XC90. It's the flagship model in their range, so not surprisingly, they've spent a great deal of time getting it right. And because it's a Volvo, safety has been right at the top of their priority list. Which is why I'm about to watch one being demolished. Yep, a brand new 50 grand car is going to get intentionally injured here at Volvo's high-tech test centre in Gothenburg, Sweden. It's all part of Volvo's vision to ensure no one will ever get killed or seriously injured in one of their cars. And if you think this vision lies 50 years in the future, then you'd be woefully misguided, because Volvo claims that this will take place in under five years' time, by 2020. That sounds like a ridiculously tall order, but Volvo are clearly well on their way with the XC90. As prevention is always better than cure, the XC90 is packed with a host of advanced warning and intervention systems to limit the possibility of a crash. But no matter how hard you try, accidents can and will happen. So what's Volvo's master plan? Well, today we're going to witness a situation. You are uh, driving home from work very late at night. The only thing on the radio seems to be something like Kenny G or maybe Christa Berg, and you've fallen asleep. And the car has veered off the road into this ditch. You're doing 50, and then it hits this, the culvert at the end of the ditch. And what happens then? Well, we're about to find out. This is a completely standard XC90. However, it's been coated with all manner of sensors to measure exactly what happens to the car during the crash. Measuring what happens to the occupants are these three highly sophisticated crash test dummies. And all this data is then fed to a nerve center in the boot. And because Volvo wants to capture as much information as possible, even the matte orange paint serves a purpose, because it reveals more detail to the high-speed cameras that will record the short but eventful life of this luxury car. The crash sequence is about to take place. I'm not alone during this test. There are other journalists from all over the world who are just as curious about Volvo's bold claims as I am. Mikey. Initially, the gravel ditch doesn't present any danger. However, the culvert at the end is another matter, because hitting that at 50 miles an hour is enough to launch the Volvo skywards. That's over two tonnes of Swedish metal, now airborne. On board, the driver and passenger airbags deploy at the moment of impact, giving essential protection from any frontal surfaces. As the vehicle lands, the front driver's wheel takes the full force and shears completely in half. Finally, as the car bounces and skews left, the airbags on the right-hand side are triggered. I join the media scrum to take a closer look at the damage. So immediately you notice that the front wheel has been shattered and pushed back. But actually, when you look at the, the face of the car, it doesn't look that badly damaged. And critically, the A-pillar, which is the thing that a lot of experts will look at, there's, doesn't look like a lot of deformation of the A-pillar. And that's obviously where stuff can intrude into the cabin, you know, crushing feet, legs, that sort of thing. Lotta Jakobsen, head of technical safety at Volvo, explained the new system safeguarding occupants in accidents such as this. It was a quite complex event. You know, the car came into a ditch, and already when entering the ditch, the seat belts uh, are tightened up because we sense that it's a ditch and then we need to position the, uh, the occupants. So they've been sitting upright, and when then uh, Coming to the embankment, we saw the vertical forces coming up through the vehicle. It was quite a big jump. It was. And it's, it's those type of situations we've seen in the real world where actually can cause spine injuries. So that's why we developed energy absorbing functionality in the seat that actually dampens the forces coming through the spine of the occupant. And together with the up straightening of the posture, helps to, uh, these guys to actually sustain a higher force without fracturing. 
Previous crash test data has revealed that people tend to move around a lot in a collision, so the seatbelts are able to tighten by as much as 10 centimetres in 0.1 seconds. Coupled with the new deformable seat design, Volvo has been able to reduce spinal injuries by a third. How does the car sense the severity of the incident which it, it, it's about to, to happen? This car uses the accelerometers and the gyros in the car only. You right. can of course add more information uh, with other sensors as well, but this one detects the situation by feeling the uh, changes of motions in the car. So it, we have trained the car <laughs> and the sensors to, to recognize the situation like this, wow. as compared to somebody just driving around. Yes. Of course, this is only one accident scenario in which serious injury or death could occur, so Volvo continues to crash XC90s from every angle to make sure the car is safe, whatever happens. But perhaps you're thinking the type of incident we've witnessed today is unlikely to happen to you. Most of us presume that serious injury or worse in a car would be the result of a collision with another vehicle. But actually, here in Sweden, that doesn't seem to be the case because research says that a third of all accidents take place involving just one car. And in the States, a half of all traffic fatalities are the result of a road departure crash. And having started at half past three in the morning to do this, all of a sudden I've got my energy back.